Washington comes into the national championship game with an insanely talented offense. You could say best offense in college football. You say that? Ooh, yeah, I think so. Could you say that? Uh, You got a Heisman Trophy candidate quarterback in Michael Penix Jr., who, by the way, has beaten Michigan before as a member of Indiana football. And the way that he is playing, the receivers that he's playing with, you could, you could, could you make a case that the receivers he's playing with um, would make a, a ton of NFL teams better right now? I uh, guess Ro- yeah. Roma Dunze could start this weekend, right? For 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 the for, Houston Texans, yes, in a playoff game for them this coming week, no doubt against the Colts, no doubt. He's going to be playing in the home of the Texans, right? Um, they are, and they feel they feel as destined as Michigan does. They're fourteen and zero. Also, how about getting a national championship game of two fourteen and zero teams going at it? And this is an old school Rose Bowl matchup, and a future Big Ten. Conference matchup. And Texas damn near pulled it off. I just want to say this because, again, you know, obviously there was so much going on in this football game. But the, uh, do you think Steve Sarkeesian would want the play calling back at the end of that game? Uh, I, I honestly yeah. thought when they got that um, first – down out of what could have been viewed as uh, with the uh, Texas running back grabbing the ball and kind of he had the finger t- he had the fingertips, the fingertips on he was it trying to secure it a little bit while getting the one foot dead. But that was one of those that if it was called incomplete on it the field, stayed incomplete. correct. Right. Right. But it was called complete on the field and yes. it stayed that way. I think exactly. that's what it was. Yep. But that just gave Texas what appeared to be enough time for four shots at the end zone because of the way that Washington, for whatever reason, didn't take knees, kept handing the football off. Um, and a, an injury caused the clock to stop mm. and um, and gave an extra timeout to Texas. And they used it to their advantage. And I thought they had enough time for four shots at the end zone with one of the most remarkable 50-50 pass catchers we've seen in college football over the last three years. Adonai Mitchell, who they showed in the broadcast, had a touchdown pass now in five straight college football playoff games because he played for Georgia the last two years. Mm -hmm. And he had a touchdown in every single one of Georgia's playoff victories in their back-to-back championship seasons. I thought they were going to throw at least two 50-50 balls in his direction. The first one went out in the flat. What the hell for? It's like a little. We're like trying to gain three. two, three more yards, and if he was know, if he was tackled in the field of play, game over. Game is over. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I didn't understand that one at all. And I'm sitting there at home, in the very rare position. It was the first time for me. It was a first for me to be sitting there wondering which team would I rather play in the national championship. Right. Never, uh, honestly, <laughs> uh, I felt like I needed oxygen. I was in such. I was like on the, on the top of Mount Olympus. <laughs> My head was. I was feeling a little bit groggy. Needing oxygen. And I thought to myself, seeing all those dudes in their cowboy hats and their neckerchiefs and screaming with Bevo, oh my God, I don't want to face that team in Houston. <laughs> and so here comes Washington against Michigan. And um, I can't wait for that. We'll be talking about it all week long. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free. <laughs> 